However, how do you get the Oculink out to the EPG, eGPU? So I did a bit of a research and I came up with a bit of a bit of a solution. So I bought a card that had a serrated, I don't know if you can see that, bought a card that had a serrated back, uh, not serrated back, eh? had holes in the back and then basically just snipped out to make my hole. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to plug the Oculink in so you can see it. There you go. And now the cable neatly comes out the back of the unit and it's nice securely clipped into there, much like any cable is at the back. But then my Oculink goes out the back so I can shut the side of the unit up and I'm good. So I've just about got this in shot. Here's the eGPU. So I've got an RTX 460 here, 750 watt power supply here, but you can fill any size power supply. It has to be ATX or SFX. Um, I've got a modular one. I recommend modular one if you do it because then you've got a bit more control over the cable management. Um, otherwise, you just want tons of cables coming out and you can buy shorter cables if you want to rig, make it really neat. There's a bar that comes out the back here to secure the card down. The Oculink port is at the back and at the front there's a power button. And this base plate here is by Mini Sporum and that's what the, makes this all possible. You plug the card, there's a PCI slot there, put the card in and then basically off you go. Power lead here, on off switch at the back, put that in there. Now, the big thing is you need to turn this on before you turn the unit on. If you don't do that, it just won't connect. Now, Windows just boots in, does it, detects it straight in, and so does Linux, which is brilliant. So that's basically the unit. Now, 